G'day, it's Rob here from Integration Kings, and I just wanted to shoot this video to explain the stock transfer function within DEER and how you can use it within your business. So the first thing is to locate the stock. The first thing first is under Reference Books, Locations. You should have built out all your physical locations as well as the addresses associated. So if they're physical locations where you want to move stock around and produce a piece of paperwork to support it, then you need to have the name of the location in the system and an address associated. If it's a virtual location, obviously you won't have an address unless you want that on the paperwork. But you can set up virtual locations within the business as well, just to keep track of where you stock or sell it off so you can't sell it. It allows you to control and isolate out stock. So then to do an inventory transfer, you can go to transfer um, or you can go to all transfer. All transfers will show you all the transfers to date and you can trigger a transfer from the screen. So sometimes this is better to go to so you can see the overall perspective of all the transfers you've done. Hit plus transfer. And I'm gonna do a very simple one. I wanna go from main warehouse to my test site. And give it a reference. Um, now it's got the option of an order or you can skip it now the order is basically you doing up what you want to do for the stock transfer it's as if you don't do the stock transfer before you actually ship it so shipment date required um, I'm going to ship it uh, on the 24th um, the stock is going to be sent on the 24th and you will fill this out the transit account so if, if this is only if the stocks moving and you want to show the movement on the balance sheet back to the PL or break it down over the balance sheet saying stock in transit, then back the stock on hand. Um, normally we just say put that as stock in transit um, or put it the stock on hand, whichever one you want to do. Uh, it depends on your business process. And you wouldn't know stock received yet. So we're going to say we've, you can leave this blank actually until you want to send it. Um, hit add, choose a particular product. So we'll choose this one. I'll do something with some stock on hand. So choose this one. And we're going to send 30 units over. Authorize the order. Then you can pick a stock transfer sheet. Which you can obviously brand up in your branding, but it'll say where it's going from to where and the dates and all the particular details. Um, now for the grid here to work out, obviously you have to go to all products, file in your order, into the transfer, so this one had a serial number tracking on it, um, and then basically then when you, and if you uh, hit send stock, the date you want to specify, so we're sending it today, send stock. You can then print off the paperwork to go with it. So you've got to put in the sent date and you know populate it. And then the grid will be filled out and tells the staff what to pick. Um, and you can have a sign bar down the bottom. And then when you fully complete the stock, you put in the date it was received at the other site and hit complete and that files in the stock received. Um, you'll see a manual journal entry if there need to be. Um, and you'll see the related transactions. Um, if you go back to stock transfer, you'll be able to see all the transfers you've ever done. Um, and if you need to edit them, you can. But the idea is to keep an audit log at all the stock transfers. If you've got any other questions, please contact us at the business. Um, we, should, we can help with anything around DS systems. Thanks, guys.